everybody, welcome to a very wild and colorful week here on my channel. Here's what I'm doing. I'm going to be taking one palette, it's a very colorful palette, and I'm going to be using only this palette for my eyeshadow looks all week. So you're going to be getting five kind of rapid fire looks, all colorful, all bright. Um, I will let you know up front, the goal this week for me personally is not to be perfect, but it's to have fun, number one, and number two, get out of my comfort zone a little bit. Try some different colors, just play around, try them out, see how it goes. And I hope to encourage those of you who never really reach for a bright eyeshadow palette. Maybe you could try this as well with something that's been lurking in your collection for a while that you've always been like, eh, it's a little too much for me. You know, it's just fun to play. And I feel like we're on the cusp of a season here with spring coming up where you might reach for more color and a little more brightness in your look. So with this palette, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. What I was originally thinking about doing was um, actually doing a different bright palette every day. But then I thought I might come away from that and you all might come away from that feeling a little bit unfulfilled like you know I, we just scratched the surface of several different bright palettes and you know that's cool for different looks but what do you really come away with so here I thought this could offer a lot of different looks and I would totally 100% be open to doing this again with any eyeshadow palette that you're interested in you know seeing how versatile it is and what different things you can get out of it so thank you guys in advance so much for watching I hope you like the looks I hope you like at least one of the looks <laughs> let's put it that way and yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Okay guys, hopping into day one, I used my Tarte Shape Tape Eye Primer all over the lids and I used the green, the emerald green with a little shimmer all over the lid, just packing it on my entire lid space with a flat brush. And then I also just used that same brush to concentrate some of that color in my crease as well and just pull that upward ever so slightly. This color is very buildable and I find it can look anywhere from like a light mint green to a much deeper emerald. And then I used the matte dark teal beside it and I put some of that on the outer part of the lid. I worked a little bit of that up into the crease as well just to add a little bit of dimension to this look. And then up under the brow I decided to layer a couple of highlight shades. I first used the shimmery light gold and I thought that might play nicely alongside the green but ultimately I wanted even more brightness so I put a little bit of the matte white right on top of it. And we're going to be sprinkling in some pink accents with this look so I used the pink sort of iridescent highlight shade shade up top and I patted that right on the center of my lid and it was kind of hard at first for this shade to start to come through on top of that green but using a combination of my finger and also a brush I felt like I could really concentrate the color in there and that's not a technique I often go for. I also decided to pat some of that shade all around my inner corner. Next I took a black liquid liner my um, Jordana Color Envy and Black Envy a matte black liner all the way across the upper lash line. I winged it out a little bit and then I used my Marc Jacobs pencil liner in the shade blacker really nice intense black on my lower inner rim and once that was done I used the black in the palette the black shadow with an angled brush just to sort of blend outward from my lower lash line with a little bit of shadow there and under the wing as well and then boom we're going into hot pink we're taking a smudger brush and just running this all along the lower lash line and this is definitely not something I would usually do but I do love the pairing of pink and green just in general. I just like to see that pairing out in the world and I think it's fun in this look too. And then around the inner corner I played up that um, pastel pink even more kind of overlapping with the hot pink on the lower lash line. Finished off the look with mascara top and bottom as well as some Ardell Wispies false lashes and the finished look you know it's fun. It's definitely something totally different for me. I truly love the color combo pairing. I might even like it better if I had done more pink on the the lid and like green across the lower lash line. I don't know, that'd be a fun twist on it too, but we're just playing around. We're just getting our feet wet with this palette. As far as what else I have on my cheeks, I'm wearing my Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush. This is a mini size, by the way, that I got from a little Ulta duo and it's called Pink Me Up. My highlight is from Makeup Forever. It's the Pro Light Fusion in 01. This does have a little bit of a pinky sheen to it. And then on my lips, I went so basic and standard, like alongside this wild eye. This is from L'Oreal. 
It's their new Color Reese Shine formula in burnished blush. I have a feeling it's only going to get crazier as the week goes on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Day two everybody. I decided to take a kind of yellowy orange in the palette and use that right there in my crease to get that all nicely blended out. And then I thought I'd bump up the warmth even more by taking the red that's a couple shades in and I patted that on the outer part of my lid and I also kind of gently worked that up into the crease and I blended with the first crease brush that I used so everything's now becoming this nice reddish orange warm tone. Then I decided to take the shimmery copper shade at the bottom of the palette and this is kind of a unique texture. You do need to take like a bit of a stroke with it across the lid like a little bit of a pulling motion because that's what helps these sort of loose pigments hang together a bit better. I decided to try to kind of highlight my inner corner and I first went to the very very light kind of flaky shimmer in this palette and I just had trouble controlling that so I ended up mixing in some of the matte white which is a complete rock star white shade and kind of the combination of them both actually seemed to function to give me that nice inner corner brightness that I was looking for. I actually decided to intensify my outer corner with a purpley shade in this palette. As if it wasn't vibrant enough I decided to use that shade to actually pull the shape of my shadow more outward really bringing it almost out to the tip of my eye eyebrow area and then blend over that to kind of soften it up. As a soft highlight under the brow, I used the um, light golden shade from the top row. I went across my upper lash line with Black Liquid Liner, Jordana Color Envy, and Black Envy, and I did a fairly substantial wing, and then I chose to actually go under that with a double wing, make it kind of parallel to your top line and a little bit thinner, and yeah, there's just a fun easy twist on your Black Liquid Liner. I used an actual true white liner in my lower inner rim today. I used the Aqua XL from Makeup Forever in M16. And then I took another purple shade, what I feel is the really true matte purple in this palette. And I took that on the lower lash line, underneath the lower wing, and just all throughout that area. My end look, I'm feeling like, you know, go Clemson. Any Clemson fans in the house, that's what it kind of turned out to look like. Truly love the look, think it's so fun. I did mascara on my top and bottom lashes, and I used some gorgeous lashes that my friend Kristen shared with me. They are from Esquito. This is the beautiful little box they come in. Um, it says EL203 BFF, but they're so thick and lovely, and I didn't even trim them. I probably could have looking back because I'm kind of feeling them a little bit in the inner corner, but these are like for sure a special occasion lash. They're so thick and thick throughout the entire like lash line. I love them so much. Thank you, Kristen. On my cheeks, I'm wearing my Hourglass Blush in Diffused Heat. For a little bit of highlight, I'm wearing ColourPop's Fanny Pack. And then on my lips, I'm wearing another one of my Life on the Day dance floor lipsticks from Makeup Revolution. This shade is called Invite Only. So I first put that all over my lips. I defined the lips a little bit more with a slightly deeper lip liner. This is Mastermind from the L'Oreal um, Color Riche Matte Lip Liner Collection. And then for that little pop of shine, that little extra magic that's happening there on the lower lip, um, I'm wearing Angel Tears from Too Faced. Just the gloss for this look. So yeah, super fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay friends, day three for this look, I went to the Shimmery Blue in this palette. While it had some shimmer, I guess maybe it would be best described as like a satiny finish when worn all over the lid because I didn't notice a whole lot of shimmer coming out of this. And I patted it all over the lid and also slightly into my crease as well because this is really where I wanted the depth in my crease to come from for this look. I wanted it to be just kind of like one bold color focus. I also took some of the matte blue that's right beside that and I patted some of that on like the outer part of my lid just to sort of change the finish a little bit, but both shades really have a similar intensity and tone to them. Then I thought it would be fun to kind of transition out of this blue with one of these coppery shadows at the bottom of the palette. So I used that very lightly um, just around the border of the look. I thought it complemented the blue really well and just gave a nice little bit of neutral to this look. And um, once I got that all nicely sheared out, I used the white just really lightly as an under the brow highlight. Then thinking about how I was going to do my liner for this look, I thought I'd do something a little different by using an angled brush with the black and I basically just kind of created my wing just out of really soft eyeshadow and I thought that was a cool way to go about it. On my lower lash line I did use my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlight and my lower inner rim and then I used some of the matte blue and just kind of connected that up with the black and due to that overlap I end up with just this soft bit of navy blue on the lower lash line but primarily I wanted this to be just an above the eye simple 
pop of color. So I finished the look with mascara top and bottom and some lashes. These are very similar to the Red Cherry number 43 style and I'm so happy with this really because I think it is kind of wearable color. Like you have that peekaboo type pop. That effect is really created so much with the lashes because looking straight ahead you don't see all that much color and then I look down it's like bam. Bam. So I like that and I think you could do this kind of technique with so many of the different color pops in this palette, whether it's the purple or the red or the green. This is just a little more simplified approach to what can be a very intimidating palette. So as far as what else is on my face for blush, I have this pure four-in-one blush book that I got recently and so I'm wearing some of the shade called Passionate. Huge blush pans there. And then on top of that, I'm busting back into my Becca Chrissy Teigen palette and I've got sort of a combo of the two highlight shades for a little glow there because I thought those would play really nicely with the coppery color emerging from my eye look. Then on my lips, I'm wearing the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte in Mastermind, very creamy liner. Filled in the entire lips with that and then I topped it all off with the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Gloss. Brand new gloss to me and um, this is in the shade Dirty Talk and this has a lot of like kind of coppery shimmer. I think this pairs beautifully with the blue eye and I'm excited to play with another look tomorrow. Welcome Welcome to day four after I prime my lids. I worked in some of the matte purple into my crease. It's my Sigma E25 brush, just windshield wiper motions back and forth, building that color up just a little bit. And then I took the bright orangey coral and I just wanted that ever so lightly, just hardly any product on the brush going over the border of that purple because I just really love the look of that fade of those two shades, one into the next. And then for a little soft highlight under the brow, pick up a little bit of the matte white. Next, we're gonna build up a really fun pastel lid. So I'm starting with a flat brush and the matte white shade, which is a real powerhouse white in this palette. And then I'm going back to that purple that we originally put in the crease, and I'm going to start patting that on the outer part of the lid, slightly working inward, overlapping with the white, creating this pretty like slight pastel lilac effect. Then I decided to add a little extra depth and interest with the dark teal, so I just patted that on the very, very outermost part of the lid, working just kind of inward, a little bit on top of that purple. Just a speck of this shade I think is really subtle and pretty. Then I used a white liner from Makeup Forever on my lower waterline inner rim area. I kind of encircled the tear duct with the matte white and then I took the purple that has just a little more pink in it and I started to lay that down basically on the center part of the lower lash line. Then continued outward with that dark teal shade very lightly just for some very soft definition on the lower lash line. But then I just curled my lashes. I left this a linerless look and I used my cosmetic super Superhero Mascara. That's on the top. Covergirl Clump Crusher on the bottom. And I am so pleased with this look. I think there are so many directions you could go in this palette by taking the white and then overlapping one of the more intense shades and getting this whole gradient of like pastel going on there. I love that. Now on my lips, I wanted a slightly purple lip. So what I did, I used my Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner and Going Steady, which is just a nice deep kind of mauve berry. And then I blended very lightly on top of that this L'Oreal Infallible Paints in Lilac lust and this is a very like full-on lilac color so I just really lightly blended that across and created a bit more of a purple vibe to the lip and then I topped things off with my angel tears from Too Faced to give it added shine just an even more soft and pearlescent quality and my cheek color again this was just handy today I used my Chrissy Teigen palette the palette with Becca that has that blush in there and you know what my eye look is reminding me of so much is it not this palette right here <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like I've got this kind of bluish thing happening there, the pinky purple. That's crazy. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and day five will be next. So after priming my lids, I patted the white around my innermost corner and then I layered on some of the matte teal shade and this really added a bit of a pastel effect to this color, even more than it already has just on its own. And so I patted that on a good chunk of the lid there and then I brought in the matte like true royal blue. And I overlapped a little bit of that aqua shade and you might find that you need to go back and forth sometimes with this look to build up, you know, the first shade that you put on so you don't lose it too much. I added just a dab of the dark teal also to my outermost edge of my lid. That does go a little bit richer, a little more intense than the true blue. Then using a small brush, I used the dark shimmery plum and I started blending that, just kind of buffing it in little circular motions into the outer corner of my eye, uh, bringing it 
it outward some, bringing it upward a little bit, because we're going to kind of play off of plum and fade in some purple above this whole blue-green thing we've got going. So then I took a small detailed brush. This is my Sigma E36. I went into the bright purple, and I just sort of sheerly buffed that out around the edge, and I thought that gave a really pretty effect and the addition of what extra color to this look. I used a little bit of the white as a highlight right under the brow, and then on my lower lash line, I kind of went dark to light down there using the dark plum, going into the blue, and into the light teal. Really, it's not a super hard look to execute. You just have to make sure you're maintaining the intensity of those certain shades when you're working in so many different ones all at once. So I did a black liquid liner across the upper lash line, and then I popped on some lashes. These are from Kiss. I'm not sure exactly what style. Um, I think they're one of those new blowout lashes or whatever they call them, but it's a really fun look. I love that little bit of like pinkiness that's just peeking up above the eye. For my lip color today, I'm wearing the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in Forbidden Kiss. I thought it might be fun to pair something deeper with this eye. For my blush and highlight, I'm wearing colors from the Urban Decay Backtop Palette. I've got um, this as a blush, blended in a little bit of this as well, and that's my highlight shade. Thank you so much for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed this look and the whole series of looks, and while I realize not every look is going to be everyone's cup of tea. I mean, these are bright eyeshadow looks. The goal for me here this week was to learn more about this palette, have fun, and be a little bit creative. Um, not that you can't be creative with neutral shadows, because you totally can. It doesn't matter what color you're using. You can be exercising creativity, even with very basic looks on a daily basis. But I wanted to get out of my own comfort zone, and that's definitely what happened this week. I actually learned about some new color pairings that I really like. I feel like going into the spring season, I'm not going to be as scared about integrating certain colors into my looks. And yeah, I just feel like now's the time. I really wanted to do this. As far as this palette goes, the Sephora Pro um, editorial palette, there's a lot of great things happening in here. I really love the quality of the mattes. There are some fantastic shimmers, although there are a couple that are a little bit frustrating. There's a kind of a flaky white up here, and I noticed the same quality about this sort of champagne rose gold um, down at the bottom. They're just a little tricky to build up. I think they'd probably work better if you wet your brush or you apply them directly on top of a really tacky primer. But I think if you are a makeup artist and you're looking for a real splash of color in your kit, this definitely provides that. I think it was really strong with reds and warmth here. I love the true blues. I really enjoyed that pop of blue on the lid that I did one day this week. But one thing to be aware of is with the purples. I got a lot of use out of these this week, but I find that they really end up looking like a very pinky purple when you shear them out. So if you're hoping that this really fills a purple need for you, it's not so much in the true purple sense. So you might like supplement this palette with something like the Viseart um, Amethyst palette, perhaps, because that has like a really nice rich plum. It has some more true purpley shades, whereas these kind of veer on the side of being pink. But I like that while being a bright palette, you know, it wasn't just 100% matte, 100% bright. They gave like some coppers and golds down here, some really, I think, interesting ways to accent different looks. The white in here is outstanding. That matte white like really allows you to take any of those shades and turn them more of a pastel. And there's also a very nice quality black as well. It has a little bit of shimmer, but honestly I feel like it works and applies like a matte. And there's a huge mirror in here too. Um, I do have the other two Sephora Pro palettes. There's a warm one and there's a cool one. And if you like this sort of idea of testing a shadow palette for a week, I would be happy to do this again with something. And also just look at other bright palettes that I have. Large ones, small ones. Can I get five different looks out of them in a week? That would be fun to do as well because I really like this kind of thing. And by the way, if you're looking for like more versatility in any eyeshadow palette you have, a great person to check out is Kristen Game. She does something called Four Looks, One Palette. And it's a great way to just get a little inspiration for what you can do with just one eyeshadow palette. And I think sometimes, you know, a, a palette just makes a brief appearance on YouTube and maybe you see a person do one look with it and then it's gone. So yeah, this was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.